and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Is It Flash as our third deck here for this 5-0 Friday stream. This is where we're playing some 5-0 deck lists from Magic Online. They publish uh, some deck, like about twice a week, they'll publish deck lists that go 5-0 in their leagues. And I'm playing some different ones, some interesting ones. This one is a pretty popular deck. Like, you know, you'll see, you'll play against this one uh, more often than that Selesnya Tokens or the Orzov Control that we had earlier. But this is a deck that I just haven't played at all yet. And I thought this was a good time to play it. Uh, give it a try. Um, and that's that's kind of like what 5 Friday is about, is, you know, playing some, sometimes playing some more popular decks than all the different brews that I have um, and give them a try. So we're going to be playing another version, another Gadwick deck. I've really been impressed with Gadwick and the Azorius control list that we've been playing recently. This one's playing a little bit more at instant speed because besides Gadwick, we're all about the instants. Um, I guess it just has Gadwick as the top end card to be able to draw a whole bunch. Um, plus, if you have it in play, then all of these instants can tap things down. Bone Crusher Giant, Brazen Borrower, two awesome um, interactive instants that you can basically count as two mana that also give you threats to end games. Um, and of course, Brineborn Cutthroat's very efficient. So I guess <clears throat> efficiency is a good word for this deck. It's you know a whole lot of cheap spells um, and trying to out-tempo opponents. There are a lot of Is It Flash lists, and I, this one was from like two... Is, I don't know. It's from it's from like a little while ago, but there's also a new one. I I kind of combined the two. Like this this wasn't actually this specific seventy five wasn't um, in the five O list. I kind of looked at a couple, and I I have mostly one, but then I took a couple of things from another that I liked. Like the one that I had didn't have unsummon, but I really like unsummon. I want to try playing an unsummon in here with these different creatures that are really good to unsummon. Uh, plus, it's a good tempo play over there and i've seen like top end i've seen like some people play ral some people play uh six mana chandra some people play four mana chandra i think i like ral the most out of them i'm gonna play ral i i think like the matchups that you want like your big planeswalker you really want the card advantage and um ral can provide that or six mana chandra is not really providing you with the card advantage okay Let's give this a try. So we're gonna play. So with these decks, we're playing them over in ranked, and we're playing four matches over in ranked. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play four matches here with Is It Flash. So brawl may become an everyday thing. That would be cool. That'd be cool. Sure, let's give this a try. You like four mana Ral? Like four mana Ral tick up is scrying and not putting cards into your hand. That's the big reason why I like the five mana Ral. More. We're 24 lands, right? 25 lands. Even better. Yeah, I agree, Storm. I, I would much prefer Brawl every day of the week than just Wednesdays. And also, they need to get Historic. They need to have Brawl and Historic have, like, actual events. You know, like, you can't even play two out of three Historic. It's, like, really, it's really difficult to figure out even how to play a Historic match. Hmm. Not sure if I'm supposed to be shocking here because our life total is going to be um, an important resource. So yeah, I probably didn't need a shock there. All right, so we need we need to draw another blue land. 
And then we can have Divination Gadwick. I am certainly... All right, yeah, I certainly don't want Witch's Oven to resolve. Let the man play the game. Sheesh. <laughs> uh, sure. I also I agree with that. Pioneer and Historic should be the same format. I agree with that as well. So I, I'm thinking they have like Angras Rampage in hand and stuff. But we're going to just take the Ancestral Recall. You would have scooped by now, tilt so hard playing against blue. Can understand that. Blue has some very frustrating cards for sure. They're at eight. Down to three. I'm gonna go ahead and keep um, keep the Umsum available and just draw four cards. So I can like do two to them with Bone Crusher Giant, replay Bone Crusher Giant, unsummon the Bone Crusher Giant, do another two damage to them. That does. All right, I'll just I'll just unsummon the Gadwick. Let's say that that does trigger the Bone Crusher Giant to do two damage to me. Wow, that's aggressive. Okay. Yeah, I like I like that on summon edition. Yeah, like that's I'm liking that on summon. So I want spyglass for oven. But then they can also just Angrass Rampage Spyglass. Um Yeah, that could be annoying. Rampage Spyglass. That's certainly the thing I'm most scared of is which is Oven Cauldron's familiar. That's that's definitely the thing that I'm more scared of than anything else in their deck. Let's get another negate in here 
for oven for a hard counter for oven. I have the borrowers that get get to bounce the ovens. Also, um, quench on the draw may not actually be a counter spell later on. I don't think I really need either guys. They don't have that many red cards. Yeah, I'll just take out a couple quenches. Which one you want? They have a couple of options. I'd say. It's unfortunate that's a card that I like, but I need to find land. I forgot forgot about that thing in the sideboard. I thought it was too risky to opt for a, a mountain. I thought it was too risky. We won our first game, but we're playing two out of three. So we that's that's this little thing that's lit up down here. If I had four mana, I would have gone Cutthroat, Bone Crusher Giant, kill that, kill the Midnight Reaper, and then Rouse Outburst the 3-3 three, three later. Um, but as you can probably tell, I don't have four mana. That's going to be a problem. So I need to kill that thing before <clears throat> before I block the cauldron familiar. So we'll have the outburst for the devil, and then I can trade Cutthroat and Cavalier. And then they get back something cool. Inside 
you know, Devil or Reaper, probably. I mean, it could be Butcher, I guess. Yeah, Reaper makes the most sense. Maybe it's Bone Crusher Giants. No. Ugh. The scariest card. Thanks, Choco. Uh, what's the best deck to climb with in standard? Um, some version of a Simic, Oko, Nissa, Krasis, um, Gilded Goose deck. You know, whether you want to play Sultai or kind of go more straight up blue green for the steel cards, because the steel cards are just really strong against in other mirror matches with other similar type decks. Yeah, the scariest card is a one mana card that kills your own creatures. Yeah, it is a little weird. That's definitely the card that I am the most scared of. And unfortunately, two of my best answers are down here at the bottom. Whenever I needed lands, I had to put those two down to the bottom. And those are like the two cards I want to be drawing right now. So my opponent, ha I mean, my opponent has lethal right now. They just bring back Cauldron Familiar. <laughs> so all they had to do is bring back Cauldron Familiar, sack Cauldron Familiar again, bring it back again. That's two. And then, oh, wait, yeah, yeah, never mind. Priest doesn't have haste. Never mind. Priest doesn't have haste. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Hmm. I don't think this I don't even think I can survive this. When your last game with the Vraska ult? Nice.
Well, if for some reason I do survive it, I can get rid of the oven. I kind of feel like these rouse could be pretty good of getting me a lot of cards over time. Like, would Rowl be better than Gadwick? Would Rowl be better than a Bone Crusher Giant? I take out a Giant. Oh, they're just not playing very many creatures for Flame Sweep. And, like the Cauldron Familiars that don't really matter. Flame Sweeping with Midnight Reaper in play isn't great. Their other main creature is. Is one that costs. Or the one that's a 3 3. They should still have Angrass Rampages in their deck. Which is like the one thing that's giving me a little pause with the Rao. Um, that's really annoying. That's really annoying. Wow, that's really annoying. That just kills my cutthroat. My cutthroat is... Wow. We can't bounce the token because they can just sacrifice it in response and then my borrower is gone. This should allow me to next turn play Cutthroat plus Opt. And have a 3-2 Cutthroat that doesn't die to a single ping. Which, of course, we need to do before they have this thing here. Um. I kind of say that my favorite set is... Like, whenever people ask me that question, like, my favorite set, I, I say Magic Origins. I really liked all the throwbacks and, like, the references in Magic Origins and thought the flip Planeswalkers were just really cool. So, yeah, that's... That's the one. So you, so you're saying, could you just bait the sack and opt in response to the target? Well, imagine if you're on the other side. You don't, like, there's no reason to sacrifice in response. And so, like, I had to do this again. 
Now they get the priest. There's there's no reason to sacrifice in response to, or like during their turn. Like you, you, they just wait till it's my turn, and then the cutthroat's a two one, and then they just kill the cutthroat during my turn. Because then if I cast a spell during my turn, it doesn't grow. So if they played it correctly, they would just wait. Well, I'm in huge trouble. Again, I had to cast that that thing in response. Otherwise, if I let this resolve, then then again they could just have their their two creatures kill my cutthroat. But now, but then they also had a priest. So I am in a lot of trouble. Hey, Magic Harry. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, these masks have been pretty good. And Baloney Pony, also with a resub, saying love in the channel. Todd, keep it up. Thank you so much, Baloney Pony. Will do. Um, well, Lava Coil is a good one. Get rid of the familiar forever, I suppose. Prefer some more card draw. Getting another Gadwick. Or a Ral or something. So I block here, then the Butcher kills the Gadwick, or does the damage there, then they sack here, and then they sack sack to make me kill Cutthroat. If I don't block, they still do the same thing. They get rid of this, and then they do two, they go sack sack, and it does two here. And so they don't have to get rid of all their creatures, they can still keep a creature. So blocking's better than not blocking. Hey, Ponish Factory, joining the resub train. Thanks, Ponish Factory. All right, Storm, have a good night. All right, see you Sunday. All right, have have a fun day Saturday. I'll see you Sunday. So I I can't I could not stop them from just getting rid of both of my creatures, but this way gets rid of all of their stuff besides priest. Um. Where the other way, they would be able to keep a creature around. And also, I would have taken an extra point of damage if I don't block. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fires. It's pretty happy. Study, focus. It's I just want to burn stuff happy. Okay. Good, we'll keep on thinning over here. Can I play Ral? It would definitely have to be Ral tick up, not Ral tick down. I'll just get that thing out here and get the Bone Crusher in here. We've done a good job of thinning the library of lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've gone through 11 lands. Go get em, buddies. Twelve lands. Oh, 
Well, that's rude. Sucks, baby. <sighs> G G. Say hi to my fiery friends. Hey, what's up, Seneca? Thanks to Twitch Prime sub. Sub number 15. Uh, it started off rough. We lost like our first two, but we've been doing pretty good since then. For just the day overall. So of course I wanted to get the Brazen Borrower to be a 4-2 instead of a 3-1 so it isn't as easy to kill. Hey, how about that? That's a great draw stab. So I could name Cauldron Familiar, or I could name Witch's Oven. Ugh, Midnight Reaper is good. I mean, I, we're just going Oven, especially with that Midnight Reaper there. Oh, I guess you probably want the Witch first. Oh, that's a bad tapping. Let me have Steam Vents. If I find Shock, I can't play it now. Oh, come on. I just want to peek. The weight is mm. killing me. Did I just waste my land drop for no reason? Sounds like something I'd do. Just beans walk it off, Chandra. <laughs> yeah, an oven also lets them sacrifice, you know, like even like sac like sacrifice gutter bones to draw cards and stuff like that too. Hmm. Don't think I need to activate castle upkeep. for the unknown. That's real science. So he said a search for the unknown, that's real science. But it sounded like that's real spice. And I like that more. So I could Gadwick for two and Brazen Borrower still, and you know, like bounce the Midnight Reaper. Or I can just bounce and play the Borrower and not Gadwick. Do, 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 do. 
Isn't it nice to have spells that don't get to rest? We got we drew two cards from Gadwick. But now having Gadwick in play means I can untap and I can I can tap their I can tap stuff and everything. I don't know. We get to tap stuff. Tapping stuff's cool. See, we tapped that thing. Yeah, it's such a clutch spyglass. <laughs> hey, Huxley. <laughs> My son Huxley loves the boat guy. That's me. A lot of people like their hype trains. <laughs> Time to choose. Oh, he's so excited. But boats are just so much cooler than trains. Um, tap. <laughs> Hype spaceship. Nah, boats are still cooler. Boats are pretty cool. All right, one and zero. Oh. Good showing there for Simic Flash. Yeah, we had some lag there at the end of that match. End of games can get kind of laggy like that. I don't know. I'll go ahead and reset, even though it's just one match, but still. This is a good 40 minutes. Yeah, we'll go ahead and arena reset. <laughs> I'm on a lag boat. <laughs> it replaced tugboats with lag boats. Yeah, I'm going to play Oko's Madness because I want the card styles. So, yeah, with Oko's Madness, you can get, like, you know, these card styles. And I do want those card styles, so I will play it. Um, I don't know if I'll play it on stream or just play just play it off stream. I don't, I don't know if that's, like, a something that y'all want to watch on stream or if it'll be, like, a YouTube video that, you know, that people want to watch on YouTube or not. <laughs> Hype super massive black hole. Yeah, it's true. Other people's boats are cool. Boats of your own are money pits. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Renting a boat is cool. Have like a fun afternoon. Owning a boat, that's way too expensive. All right, yeah, y'all want to watch Oko's Madness? Okay. So if it's if it's available tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you, tomorrow. All right, sorry, I need to reboot. Um, if it's it's available tomorrow, we'll play it tomorrow. I don't know exactly when it it's unlocked. <laughs> the two happiest days of a man's life. One, when you buy a boat. And then two, when you sell it. <laughs> uh, that Qu Quenching Beast? Is that, is that the name of that card? Quenching Beast? Probably drinks a lot of water 
Three heads. Hopefully we draw land. Darn, I thought that was land. So I could have just shocked and, and bone crusher giant that did the two creatures. Then they could have resolved something super scary. That thing's not super scary. Still not super scary. Uh, now we get the land where we can't double spell anymore. This ionized card is pretty good. I'm liking that ionized guard. <laughs> Gruel aggro, more like Gruel countered. Feel bad for the opponent. Yeah, well, they have Veil of Summer, so don't worry. They have Veil of Summer. It's game one. They may not have it available of summer in game one, but it'll sure be here in game two and three. So, Ether Gust in. Um, that's a mystery. I think I want to take out either a Bone Crusher Giant or a Rouse Outburst. I think I want to keep the quenches in. That's an Outburst. Just three damage just doesn't kill like their their big threats. So maybe I'm supposed to play like this Rao instead also, because Rao can kill their big threats. That's cool. He's like, they got veiled. They okay? Don't cry for him. And it's true. They'll be okay. You're predicting. You're predicting five veil of summers that we're gonna see here. <laughs> like. 
Hope our opponent has rhythm and Domri. This is a tough call whether to play Bone Crusher Giant or hold up Ionize. It's a lot of damage that's coming through here. Looks like we made the wrong choice. All right, back on the play. I don't know why I wasn't playing Lava Coil. Now I am. All right, we'll take that Rowl out. I missed the Lava Coil. Your team Gruel in the meta. Good guy Gruel stomping cats and geese. See that? That was a good quick game. This is the problem with mulliganing. Ugh. You just never get a reasonable six. <laughs> never a reasonable six. I'm going to put back Steam Vents and <laughs> Molta Zero the challenge. We did win on a Molta Four earlier. I Molta Four and just kept four lands and just ditched three other cards. And we won with the Orzhov deck. Collector card. Their deck's a whole lot different when they when they have Pelt Collector. speeds up their clock by multiple turns. Any legitimacy for Teamer Reclamation with a bunch of Adventures, Lucky Clovers, Ral for copying stuff? 
Yeah, absolutely. That sounds like that's a, all that sounds pretty good. Yeah, that could definitely be legitimate for sure. Really glad no Bone Crusher Giant. No Veil of Summer. See if they have Ember Cleave or not. Hopefully not. Yay. Gadwick. Hmm. That's not a very good draw right now. Okay, well, we'll be able to trade Giants and take Lethal. One and one. We got that first game. Y'all were saying that you f feel bad for our opponent, and I was like, don't, don't feel so bad. Even without Veil of Summer, that's just pretty tough to um, pretty tough tough to hold back all those haste creatures and everything there. But I don't know. Maybe if I would have kept my seven card hand instead of going to five, I would have had you know five lands and I would have had a Gadwick. Maybe that was the thing I needed to do. I could have also not. Could have probably played that better. I think there's a, a couple of decisions, you know, looking back at it that cost me there that game. Quench.
So I could have shocked the goose, but then that, that wasn't going to be a counter on the cutthroat. Oh yeah, yep, this is going to be a good match. This will be an interesting one for sure. We're pretty fortunate with a cutthroat immediately that we get to start attacking with. That's where our deck's at, our, at the best. It's at its best. No lands. Out of blue mana. <laughs> Remember when the goose screeched instead of honked? I like the honking more. Y'all liked Eagle Goose? Gilded Eagle? Yes, I could bounce food with Borrower, but then... Uh, they have If they have the mana, they can also crack the food in response, and then my Borrower gets... Um, it, like, stays exiled. I don't love Spyglass against Brazen Borrower. Bring in a couple more mystical disputes and cut the unsummon and the essence capture. I wouldn't mind playing Rao, like regular Rao. Regular Rao, I think it's going to be better than the Outburst. Let's do that. Let's take out the Outburst for the regular Rao. Okay. <laughs> Beetle Geese. The Ether Gust was a card that I really wasn't sure about, honestly. I'm not, supposed to, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to just jam all four Ether Gust, and if so, what I'm supposed to be taking out for him. Like if I replace Quench with Ether Gust, I don't know. I, I didn't bring him in, but I could see that being a mistake. I like having Quench available for Teferi. Because obviously I'm trying to have a whole bunch of counter spells, so Teferi is a card that I'm very scared of.
show remorse. Ios, trust me. I have a plan. Could have gone better. I had the tur turn two counter for, you know, I had, I had a two mana counter for the three mana card, but I don't, I don't know why I would think that I could have two go. mana before my opponent could have three mana. That's not the world we live in. That's good for me. It's less counter magic for Gadwick. <laughs> yeah, turn two on the plate to fairy. GG. Thanks for playing. This might be a bad idea. They're acting like they have another mystical dispute. But I have nothing else. Okay, good. Dead. Wild and sovereign and free. Don't worry, I got this. Let's broaden your existence. Bold attack. I want my six mana next turn to be able to play Gadwick and draw three. I invite you to change your ways. Let's try this. I think I need the quenches more than the ether gusts. Still. <laughs> yeah, y'all are just inventing words over there. Putting cool, nice, and sorry all together. Yeah, turn two. Teferi, still better than turn two Oko. Against a deck filled, a counter, counter, filled with counter spells. They're down to five cards, and my hand is very good. 
I need lands though. Well, do they still have a three mana walker plus counter spell backup after already using a counter and mulling to five? Guess we'll find out. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. Welcome Your to the absolute feast. nonsense, Oko. Okay. Um, I would say I was probably a, I was probably primarily a modern player, but I played a lot of standard too, before arena. And you're welcome. Team Diabetes there saying thanks for always providing quality music for the streams. You're welcome. Um... The reason to get the second mountain is Bone Crusher Giant. I already have the three blue for Oko and basically the the only thing is if I get a mountain, I don't want to draw another mountain. I'll still grab it. Kidding me. I mean, I, I went with a risk there. I could have just dispute and then they cast Veil of Summer, then I ionize. But I mean, you know, they have, they have that one card, they didn't have anything last turn. <sighs> okay, well. As far as draws go, that's pretty good. I got you, Gatsby. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do here about this Oko, honestly. Oh, dear. Thank you. 
Yeah, my opponent's five card hand was just absolutely incredible. Unfortunately for me. I still have two crisis left. I don't I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. They mold a five and then they're just obscenely ahead on resources <laughs> like the fifth turn of the game or the, the sixth turn of the game or whatever. They had it. They had after mulling to five. They had counterspell my turn two play. Turn three have Oko with counterspell backup, with Veil of Summer backup to so I can't counter it. On turn three, after already after countering my turn two play. Um. And. And then again, like. Then I get rid of Oko, and then uh, the next turn after, then uh, the next turn it's Oko again, or so then that would have been turn five. Again, they had Oko with Counterspell backup, with Veil of Summer backup. That's tough. That is tough. What, yeah, flash borrow and a turn to swing. Like, where, how, how do I, I don't, I can't win. They're going to play Hydroid Crisis and then another Hydroid Crisis, and they're going to just have a whole bunch of cards. And plus, the Oko, like, I'm not killing the Oko with just a 3 1. Oko can just turn that 3 1 into an elk, but they're going to get, an, they're going to get another elk there. I have no chance of winning that. Yeah, then the Nissa draw. I mean, I had, I had a good hand, and I just got destroyed on that mold of five. It was just whatever the perfect cards were, my opponent had the perfect cards every time. Especially because that Krasis, you know, like they had, they had once upon a time that they grabbed Krasis, and that Krasis didn't matter. So they had basically four cards, and like the their four card hand, because that it was like that card was set aside that they never played the whole time, and it didn't matter. That four card hand, it really couldn't have been better. It was just. It felt like my opponent was playing was playing where they could look at their entire deck and it was like, all right, what what four cards can I have? Like what what card can I possibly have? It looked like it felt like they just like they could only use like those four cards, but they they had their entire deck in their hand where they could use whatever whatever was available there. It was pretty unreal. Could have disputed that, but I want to use my mana better. Hopefully we actually get to do something with this quench. My 
prowess is unmatched by my peers. And be using Rouse Outburst to kill the Narset. That's my plan. Meditate and prepare. I draw red mana, I can giant and ionize. No. So do I do I not have ionize up for a turn? And outburst and kill this Narset? I think that's what I'm supposed to do, but if they have they have something really good, that's bad for me. But if I don't, they can also just find a second card. I think I'm supposed to do this. Not prepared for this. Please don't have a Nicol Bolas or a Liliana. Ugh. If I were you, smelly but effective. All right. Well, they had something really good. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> Oh, you know, that's a bunch of close games. Or I need my opponent to not have, you know, like whatever spell, and they've had that spell, or just had, you know, something that destroys me every game. <laughs> Rise and shine. Back off. All right, we need to draw red mana. Help is easy to find in war. That hurts so bad. Should just put it on the bottom. I 
I should just put it on the bottom. What a good mindless minion. This was unpleasant. Oh, I do love a good death whale. Hey, Moses. I know who I am, and no one is telling me what to do. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. Annoying. Well, I finally fought through the millions of loyalty that Liliana had. I don't know how I'm supposed to fight through Chandra now. Check out these okay, fireworks. I guess if they minus. Can't fight through that one. No <laughs> and I am everything. I don't know. Like they're playing Angrass Rampage again. Spyglass is just not as good as it was a few weeks ago. This everybody has good answers to Spyglass. Don't like these spy glasses much at all. Mm. All right, red spells out, blue spells in. Hey, welcome from Chile. Awesome. All right, is it? We need to come back here. Land? Not a land. So I was thinking like unsummon could help protect like my cutthroat, or you know, like bounce cutthroat, at least. Not have a good hand against a couple cutthroats, I suppose. So here we go, game number three. That was a fast comeback. When I said we needed to come back a little bit ago, that was pretty fast. I mean, cutthroat is my best threat for sure. So starting with double cutthroat hand again is just amazing for us. This is the Arctic Monkeys. Songs called Are You Mine?
I may run out of counter spells though if I keep drawing creatures. Possibly I just don't counter that. I need to hold my counters. They're very valuable. I only have two of them. Two and two. So my thinking with without playing the Gadwick that last turn, my thinking was we have the mystic the mystical di dispute up if we need it. Um, if not, I was going to be able to activate the castle to be able to scry to look for more counter magic. So like even if they didn't really play anything that we need to counter, I still had something to do with my mana with having that castle Vantress. Okay, well, I would say that the deck felt pretty good. You know, it's kind of like mono blue, except for getting some red spells in there. I think the red spells are worth it. You know, we got some good removal with, like, the Shock and the Bone Crusher Giant and stuff. Um, so, yeah, we went two and two, and that one that we lost to Bant was just absolutely incredible, that game three. Um, they had to have just, they had to have just, like, the absolute perfect draws all, like, every turn of the game <laughs> to win, and they did. Um... But that's what happens. So, um, yeah, this deck felt pretty good, too, though. I mean, counter spells are just really good. Uh, they really are in this format. And even though there's Veil of Summer, which we saw multiple Veil of Summers get me, um, even though there's Veil of Summer, besides that, uh, counter spells are good. Okay. Anyway, that's is it, Flash. Um, if you're watching on YouTube... Uh, make sure to hit that like subscribe buttons over there and leave some comments Let me know how you've been doing with the deck um, If you've been playing this What should we do about these spy glasses in the sideboard? I I don't want them in the sideboard. I wouldn't I wouldn't play spy glasses in the sideboard at all um, I don't really know exactly what to do about about those what else to play You can try like fry but fry doesn't kill loco all the time kills Oko sometimes, but do other other things besides spy glass. Anyway, that's it for here for Is It Flash though. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.